research shows more financial advisors are using closed-end funds in client portfolios. Is this your view, and what's behind the apparent gain in closed-end fund popularity? I think, you know, as, as brokers are trying harder and harder to find value for their clients, they're realizing that there is quite a lot of value embedded in closed-end funds, uh, regardless of the asset class, mostly because of the structure, and especially when you find ones that are trading at a wide discount. Uh, then you, you know, you're getting you're getting those assets on sale. So that in of itself is an attractive feature if you're in a long-term investor because you're essentially buying a dollar for say 90 cents or 85 cents, and that's uh, from a long-term perspective attractive. The reason is attractive income. I think in this low yield environment, closed end funds are becoming more attractive given the fact that the uh, search for yield is really epic. And given the fact that many closed end funds can enhance yield, enhance income for clients, I do think there is uh, more attention being given to them given the low yield environment that we're in today. So we've seen a lot of crossover investors, both retail investors that either read an article about closed end funds, financial advisors that are seeking yield that looks sustainable in their opinion for, the, for their clients, as well as institutional investors. We've had more institutional folks reach out to our firm in the last year than ever in my career. I think a natural byproduct of a low yield environment is a chase for yield. And yield starved investors have found that closed end funds are one option for making up those cash flows that are unable to be made up elsewhere. Closed-end funds have another important attribute, which is that they are giving the portfolio manager permanent capital. And that means the portfolio manager can take a long-term perspective on the investments and is not going to be forced into a sell, must-sell situation as a, uh, as a result of, for example, redemptions. Uh, the investor can indeed sell the closed-end funds and, and create a liquidity event, but that doesn't translate into a portfolio manager having to do the same. And that's a big advantage that closed-end funds have in general.